Welcome to DP Kids once again and you're here with us today with another episode with Binudi. Yeah. What are we drawing? To draw. Yes, we're going to draw, uh, but uh, we're going to draw something different and unique today and of course uh, we're here. Do you draw at home these? Yeah. Do you? Uh, I drew a koala bear. A koala bear. Ah, that's nice. We have drawn that before as well and it's good that you can draw these even more because you can go to our YouTube channel and watch these and learn, yeah? Yeah. Yes. Well, with that uh, we are going to draw something very beautiful. Actually, yeah, do you know what it is? It's uh, an instance of a butterfly actually. Okay. No, it's actually not a butterfly that we're drawing, but it's an instance of it, so that means it's a caterpillar. It's beautiful, isn't it? How it becomes. Yes, the journey is beautiful, and that is why life is also beautiful just like the caterpillar because one day the butterfly will come until then we love the caterpillar itself and that's the beauty of life. So that's why we're going to draw the caterpillar. And uh, with that uh, we're all ready to draw that and of course you're very uh, hard working aren't you? Yeah. Yes, yeah. of course. And uh, that hard work pays off when you learn more and more, which is exactly why DP Kids is uh, showing this to all of you because just like the butterfly you'll also bloom one day because of your hard work. Huh? We're going to draw beautiful. Yeah. Yes, a beautiful caterpillar. And we're all ready to get started. Here's how we're going to start off. It's very simple, okay? So you can watch me uh, and then uh, draw while I do it but it'll look a bit difficult but it's actually very simple so it's a simple thing art so watch it very carefully especially how we're going to do it join with us as we go on this amazing journey of teaching yes and learning and we're going to do this first we're going to take uh, Binudi from the left side of the paper a tiny circle like structure over here like this shall we try that okay Right, brilliant. And then what we're going to do is from over here, take a tiny step there and another one and another one. All right, now it's okay if it goes below a bit, a bit lower, another one, a tiny one. And now we're going to bring a few more of those in a horizontal plane like that. And then, of course, from there we circle back down yes brilliant all right and uh, it's perfectly done and now we go back to the starting point and uh, we're going to connect this slowly just like this from over here there's of course you've seen those tiny shapes you know parts of the caterpillar haven't you yeah yes so we're going to draw them one and then another one over here and then another one after that and another one, you know, you keep going until you filled them up. Yes, brilliant. Okay, now what we're going to do is, of course, from here, bring this line down all the way and do the same. And then we're going to complete that shape it's very easy and a tiny part over there as well and we can bring these down a bit yes Now what we're going to do is bring this part over here like this and join these up. Easy isn't it? Yeah, it's very easy. Brilliant. Now we've of course seen the tiny head that it has, yeah? Yes, that's what we're going to draw here. Okay, right? Yes, done. And uh, we go to the end of it and of course draw a tiny part like that. Now it has a 
few spikes and all all over it, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, those are the legs, the tiny tiny legs that it has to crawl. Yes, just like that. We'll draw three over here Have first. Have you ever had an itch because of a caterpillar? Yes, yes, of course. Multiple times, as far as I can remember, it happens where you get an itch. Have you had it too? No, but I've seen it on trees. Ah, makes sense. And that's how we're going to draw the rest of the feet. Yes. All right. And now we have to add only a few more things. These are the tiny dark lines in the center. Have you seen this? No. Yes. Well, they appear on different parts because it's very colorful. Um, of course, uh, these are the parts that become colorful later on when it becomes a butterfly. Yes, you would have seen it—a beautiful butterfly with different kinds of patterns. How do butterflies become yellow then? Yes, well, it is of different colors, and that's how nature works. It's the beauty of it. Yes, we've done it. Now we have to color it. Yes, shall we? Okay. All right. We'll use a few platinum, shall we? Okay. All right. We can use black too first, shall we? Okay. There's a bit of an effect when you do that first. Yeah, from black first. We drew a beautiful caterpillar now and of course it's an instance of a butterfly that's a beautiful thing about this and uh, it's before it becomes beautiful that we drew it okay. in shall we Let's show them how beautiful this caterpillar is look at how amazing it is you must have seen this yeah uh, in different different plants yeah, yeah? Yes, eating uh, these leaves and that's the best part. When you observe these things, you can draw much better. And that's the best part. We help you do that here at Deep Peak Kids, especially to become one with nature and to listen to nature. And especially, yes, in science also, you listen and learn. And also you can now, using this, draw this with Deep Peak Kids as well. With that, we will come back with another episode very, very soon. Deep What's it called? Deep Kids. Yes, DP Kids. And we'll be back with another episode of this amazing show very, very soon. But we have to remind them something uh, as well, of course. Uh, they have to go to the YouTube channel. How do they do that? You can subscribe, click the bell button and you can comment us.
Yes, and leave a comment as well. That's very important because that will help you to learn more and more as we bring you new episodes as we go on. With that, shall we say goodbye? All right. With that, it's a wrap of this episode. We'll see you with another episode very, very soon right here. Stay tuned and Bye. take care. Bye.